Now women living with women, man living with man, forbidden to marry, speaking against husbands and wives, turning to each other, burning lust, justifying it. The leaders of a country justifying it. Even women lying with beasts. Men lying with sheep. Women lying with dogs. Woman lying with woman and man lying with man. Young people in relationships unmarried. men and violent men even now I God put a spirit of anger and a spirit of suicide in hundreds of thousands Suicide spirits. Oh, I'm seeing just hundreds and thousands and multiplies of thousands of these suicide bombers. I'm seeing everywhere building up to God casting his weevil into the earth to fulfill his anger. Even his Jews. Yes, the call is going out. Come, my people, to the house of the Lord. Come, my people, to the house of the Lord. Make my house a house of prayer. For all nations, if you do not, you will not stand. You will not escape. Because Daniel was a praying man, when they cast him into the lion's den, he escaped. Because Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, as Nebuchadnezzar brought them out of Jerusalem, as they crossed that river Euphrates, as they looked back across and, they, and the, back toward Jerusalem, as they lifted their heads up to heaven and said, God, let our tongues cleave to the roof of our mouth and we forget Jerusalem. Oh, the Lord God will say to those in this day they will not forget Jerusalem, will not forget God, the Holy One of Israel. If, you're, if you will look up to heaven and lift your heads up and put your faith and say, God, I will not forget you. I will not forget your temple. I will not forget your commandments. I will not forget your word. Our God will deliver you in the fire. I will deliver you out of the furnace of affliction. What you pray of always. And you will be counted worthy to escape. I, I just, it's just unreal. What I'm seeing. I mean, it sounds foolish. It sounds far-fetched. But I'm seeing so many of these, these crazy young men and women. I see the, the round of bodies is just loaded with explosives. Oh my God, they're just blowing up everywhere. I see there's a, thousands of these sleepers right here in America. They out there hid somewhere. They're sleepers. I see these caves and, and hidden places with weapons. I see this country busted within. I see all the Middle East. I see 
Russia, I see Iran, I see Iraq, I see, oh, India explosion, I see explosions in South America, I see everywhere. Violent. No peace. No peace for the wicked, says the Lord. No peace for the wicked. No peace for this perverse and pervert and gay spirit that's took over the nations. Oh, my people, it's best for you to return unto me. Return unto me. Return unto me. Put aside your ways. Put aside these spirits that trouble you. Fall up on your knees and cry out to your Father which is in heaven for his will to be done. of the Lord for God to speak. I'm hearing I'm hearing of one of the most powerful earthquakes. It's like a charge, like a like a charge of explosion. I'm hearing of a great earthquake. I, I'm, I'm hearing of the, of the worst hailstone storm that's ever been. Great hailstones. Great hailstones. Oh, my people, the end is upon you. The day of trouble is upon you. The day of perplexities. The day of insurrections. Fearful signs and great signs coming out of heaven unto men's hearts, failing them for the fear of the things that's hitting the coastal cities. Meteorites hitting India, meteorites hitting Texas, meteorites hitting North America, or meteorites hitting, I see them just scattered everywhere in the earth. Mexico, great fire coming out of heaven. Come my people, come my people. Come to me that you might have life. That you might have it in the day of trouble. Come to me that you might have life. I will clothe you with the whole arm of God if you will come. That you may be able to stand and withstand this day of evil. I will guide you by the Holy Ghost. I will order your going and your coming by the Holy Ghost. Hear me, my people. For I'm gathering you as a hen would gather her chicks in a time of storm under her wings. Will you gather? I'm sending out the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing the, the Holy Ghost going out. A great move of the Holy Ghost. But it's not like you would think. It's searching in the highways. I see the Holy Ghost going. Going out there. Speaking to individuals. Speaking to man. Speaking to young people, going into the bedroom, going on their jobs, convicting them. 
I'm seeing the Holy Ghost going into the islands. I'm seeing the Holy Ghost going into far distant lands. I'm seeing the outpouring of the Holy Ghost upon those that are lift up holy hands without wrath, open their hearts and open their minds. I'm seeing the Holy Ghost fall and be poured out upon them. Behold, a change. I'm seeing the whole charismatic church world fall into great perplexity and stress, distress. I'm seeing the whole church world in distress, even as the Catholic church now is in distress. That's your wax worse. And the Protestants and the Pentecostals shall fall into great stress. Say the Lord. I'm seeing people just trying to get a hold of me everywhere. I'm seeing people trying to find someone to speak the truth. They are seeking from the word of the Lord. I'm seeing them going to and fro throughout the earth. Seeking a true word from the Lord. Oh, no. Hear you, the Lord. For he is calling. For he is calling. Who may hear his voice. For even today, as the Holy Ghost speaks, hard not your hearts. Contact your family. Contact your children. Warn your children. Tell your children to tell their children to tell their children that the day of trouble and the day of the Lord and the only safe place to be is under the shadow of my wings, saith God. For there's no place to be but under the shadow of my wings. For I hold my hand Keep my commandments. They will walk in this regeneration with me. And this is generation of, of restoration. They will walk with me. I confirm by my word that not one hair of their head will perish. Oh, you righteous seed, return them to the righteousness of God. Oh, you righteous elect. Return to holiness. Return to godliness. Return to prayer. Return to my word. Pray and I've always not confirmed by my word that you shall escape. Not one hair of your head shall perish. You that have monies, prove you with your monies to the house of God. Send my messenger. Send my word. Send my anointing. Send my spirit. Send my messenger. And I will rebuke the devour over your children and your children's children. But call your children to repentance. Call your children to repentance. Call your children to repentance. Oh, my people, my people, hurry, hurry. And hear the voice of the Lord. I see great sorrow right here in Texas. I see the assassination of three leaders of the world. The assassination of three leaders of the world. I see a great earthquake. So powerful like there's never been since it's been a nation. I see a great hailstorm. So powerful like there never been. I see a great storm out. Tsunami of the seas and a great hurricane. 
like there hadn't been. I see a great calamity. I see an earthquake that ain't nothing been like it in a hundred or more years. So powerful. And a storm so powerful. Oh, and a hell storm. Oh, oh, oh. Even as the Lord God said, come no your wife and your sons and their wives come into the ark for yet seven days and the heavens will be opened up. I say to my people, come, come in the ark of Jesus, the ark of safety. Come my people in the earth. Go to the house and thy children, thy children's children. The Lord is speaking this day. There's a sea assassination in Indonesia. I see assassination in America. I see assassination in the Middle East. I see assassination. I'm seeing assassination. Even I'm seeing uh, an Arab leader, a Palestinian leader, a pa uh, an Arab a Palestinian. I'm seeing assassination, and it's, it's going to be blamed on Israel, and, and, and it's, it's going to bring chaos. I'm looking and I'm beholding it. Everything is in the hand of God. I'm seeing all of the Middle East in God's hands to fulfill His Word, to bring about the battle of all battles. This holy war, this World War III, Oh my God, it's not a little three. I see World War One. Was it little three? Or little one. And then I see World War Two a little a little bigger. But this this World War Three, it's so big. It's a great giant three. Oh, it's in the heavens and it's spreading worldwide. And it said World War Three. Oh, and millions. Millions. Hundreds of millions will die with these powerful weapons of the sky. Oh, weapons of war from the heavens. Weapons of war. The button is fixing to be pushed. The clock is ticking and the time is set. The day of trouble. The day of complexity. The day of hunger. The day of famine. The day of war and plague. And pestilence. Earthquakes. And of storms and raging waves and tsunamis of the sea. Fearful sights of the heavens and the earth. Who will be able to stand? For the Lord himself. Oh, the Lord himself. Calamity. I'm seeing the Americans afraid to get out of their houses just like they are over yonder. Terrified. American people terrified. September the 11th. 2001 to be nothing. But I say to my people, be not terrified. Open your hearts. Enter into your chambers. Enter into your closets. Pray. And I, God, will give you deliverance. I'll deliver your children. I see a, 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 a bomb explosion on a plane. Oh, God, a plane blew. I'm seeing a plane be shot down. I'm seeing a plane be shot down with a missile. Oh, God. Oh, God. Heriye kisha akashoka muka hayo kutuha I 
I see in this ministry two men preachers and a woman preacher passes as a sign of the Lord God speaks out of the heavens. I see a minister at Dallas passes for the Lord is searching the hearts of his people. I'm seeing a calamity and a distress has fallen upon him. A Trinity broadcast element. And I see a, even a, a stress has fell upon that 700 club. I'm seeing a stress and perplexities has fallen. And the Lord is speaking and has spoken and said, Yet a little while, and I'll shake not only the heavens but the earth. And I shake everything that can be shaken, and that that cannot be shaken that remains shall stand, even as the storm and those winds and the waves that beat upon that house. And great was the fall because it was not built upon my word. Even the church world and the churches that have not built upon my word, upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ Himself, the chief cornerstone. Those churches shall fall, but you that build upon my words and live by my words, the storm will hit you, the waves will prevail upon you, but you will stand and you will not be moved. For God speaks. the eyes of the Lord. I see them. I see the eyes of the Lord. The seven eyes of the Lord. They're right now. Going all over the earth. All over these seven continents. And God is said, this is the time. The hour of the beginning of sorrows. A day of tribulations. Great tribulations. The Antichrist, even as it has been spoken, even as I have uttered his voice, spoken even many years, even 40 years ago of the Antichrist, would come as I saw in the vision 40 years ago, this, this February, that he would rise and Jesus would be pushed out of the churches and a false Christ and a false religion would, would take over the whole church world. And even as the people did not know that they had accepted the spirit of the Antichrist until it was too late. Even so now, as I saw that line in that vision of the invisible number in the forehead, that little small invisible number only picked up by the scan, even now is this at the door saith the Lord. And I saw this Antichrist rise in a time the world could not find peace. I saw this wicked one. I saw this, this sinful one rising over the world peace. All the peace in the Middle East. Oh my God, I see this thing get so bloody. So many millions have died. The world is calling for a superman. Oh, my people, my people. The peace that will be offered will not be but a short time, only three and a half years. But men must bow to this wicked one. Evil men and seducers, they whack it worse and worse. Oh, my God, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the hour of the chip. I'm seeing the hour. Millions is taking the chip in their hand and the forehead. Oh, trouble, trouble, bringing the world to the climax of time. Who, who will give their lives? Who will lay out their lives? Who will not? 
not love their life, but will let down. These, these are my chosen, will give their lives before they will die. But many will be delivered. Many will be delivered supernaturally. Many will be transported. Great supernatural transportation. Great power. As the spirit and power of Elijah, of Enoch. Hear you the Lord's voice. For God to speak his word. Come my people. Come my people. Enter into that place with me. For the day of the Lord has come. The day of Amos. We've been in all streets. The famine for hearing the word of God. The day of Nahum when the rocks will fall out of the heavens. The day of Zephaniah. When there'd be blood in the cities. The bloody cities. The day of Isaiah. The great slaughter. When the earth will burn and few men left. The day of Peter, the elements melting with fervent heat. The day of John the Revelator, of mountains moving, great earthquakes shaking the nations. The great dragon rising up, the red dragon rising up out of the sea. The day of Jude when ten thousands of his anointed ones shall come. To execute judgment on the wicked. The day of Solomon when he sent calamity from the Almighty out of the heavens. Upon those that would not regard and hear me when I stretched my hand all day. The day that Jesus spoke from Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21. The day of vengeance. The day when no flesh would be saved except the Lord shortens the days. But this should be a time of trouble like there never been since it's been a nation. However it should be. For the Lord has spoken and I'm seeing a great train disaster. I'm seeing a, a plane crash and I'm seeing an explosive. Plane blow up. America's going to be hit again. Three more places. And many other places. Oh God, have compassion. I'm seeing India. Oh, I'm seeing Indian heat. An earthquake. And great tsunami of the seas. I'm seeing great peril, war, and blood. I'm seeing touch and turmoil. I'm seeing Iran and war, Iraq. I'm seeing the Arabs, the Spirit of God moving and speaking to their hearts to do what He's spoken by His prophets. Oh my God, who makes man? For the Lord of hosts has spoken. The Lord of hosts has spoken. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, help my soul. Help my soul, Lord. Lord, touch me in the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. I'll obey you. I'll obey you, Lord. Send your angel to me once more. God, make a way once more. <laughs> You know, this is one of the hardest things they are for me to do. I don't understand all these people when I'm prophesy. I can't hardly do it. I know when I want to open my mouth, all hell breaks loose. I can't hardly do it. I'm seeing the people at Dive Box weeping and seeing them in stress. I'm seeing people. Everywhere in stress and praying. Oh God, I'm just seeing this trouble. You know, we thought we was ready, but we weren't ready. I'm 
in the going and coming is going to be ordered by the Lord. You ain't going to be able to just go out here and loafer. I told you that. The Lord told me in 1969, I had a vision in St. Louis. But the time was coming that these evil people are going to be blowing up stores, churches. There's anywhere that's going to be these suicide people. These people just going to blow themselves up and blow others up everywhere. And I'm seeing them, millions of these people. I'm not just seeing a few, few thousand. I'm seeing over a million of these people. God has showed me over a million of these people right now ready to blow themselves up to throw the world into chaos. But the Lord is, is, knows what he's doing. You think I'm crazy. But I'll tell you something. This is real. This is real today. We need to get a hold of God. America needs to get a hold of God. Box, Baines, Fort Payne. Need to get a hold of God. Brother Sumlin and the people at Texas County and Brother Hill, and they need to get a hold of God. I'm telling you, folks, this is serious. This is time, Brother Watson, to quit talking so much and start getting a hold of God. This is a time we need to start praying and seeking the Lord. We talk too much, we need to be praying. We need to be praying. This is an hour. This is an hour. I want a hundred of this, of these tapes, of this tape today. I want one hundred. I want one hundred of this. Oh, this is the hardest thing I ever do, Lord. <laughs> and I fear you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, everybody. Let's, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we can feel the seriousness of this word. God, our spirits, our hearts can bear witness to this word of the Lord. Because we're here now and we entered into this time like there's never been since there's been a nation. Lord, help us, Lord. God, to get a hold of you. Like you warned Noah. You said Noah was warned of God. And he moved with fear. Moved with the reverence. To the saving of his house. And he built that ark. Lord, that when the destruction of that flood came, him and his house were saved, protected. Lord, we're in that same time now where your word has been spoken by your prophet. You sent the prophet early to warn us of these things that are happening now on our television. God, I ran and attacking Israel, sending all them bombs, all them missiles to try to kill Israel. God, your mercy protected them. Lord, we're in a brink of a war. God, World War III, as the man of God said, he see it clearly. Bloodshed, blood up to the horse's bridle. Many are going to be killed by all these weapons. Jesus, destruction, chaos, violence. We see it on the television getting ready to unfold. God, wake your people up. You told us to pray. Call upon you. Seek you with our whole heart. You said that we return unto you, you will return unto us. Lord, the hurricane that hit the states just the other day. God, that's just the beginning of it. We've entered into the beginning of sorrows. Lord, we can feel this word. Put us over this in us. This word shakes me up, Lord. Yeah, let it prick our hearts. 
Then we return back to prayer. Then we return back to the altars. Then we will hide ourselves in that secret chamber. You say, he that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit is speaking. Lord, this Spirit is speaking to us tonight. Warning us to waken, warning us to return back, warning us to pray, warning us to put on the whole arm of God that we might be able to stand. You said that we pray. We'll be kept. You said pray that we enter not into temptation. You said pray that we may be accounted worthy to survive, to escape. All these things that shall come to pass. God, we want to be able to survive what's getting ready to unfold. I want to be able to survive what's getting ready to happen. I want to be able to be kept. God, in this time of trouble that we entered into, help us, Lord, to prick our hearts. Put a conviction in our hearts. Put a conviction in our souls to return back to you. To return back to the house of God. To return back to your word. To be returned back, Lord, with our whole hearts. Lord, that we might be able to stand. You said the day of the Lord is upon us. The destruction from the Almighty. And who shall be able to abide? Who shall be able to stand? Lord, this is a time for your people to put on the whole armor of God. Help us to put on this whole armor. Help us to put on your word. Help us to put on the Lord Jesus Christ. And make not provision for the flesh. God, I remember the man of God said the good times are over. Lord, it's time for your people to awaken. It's time for your people to be stirred. It's time for your people to prepare. It's time for your people to hide themselves in you. Lord, get us ready. Anoint our eyes what I say. That we might see what you're talking to us tonight about. You said something's going to try to enter here. Will not be able to enter in. Many are going to try to seek you when it's too late. Lord, don't let us wait till it's too late. Help us tonight. Come on, saints. We're in a time of trouble. We're in a time of danger. We're in perilous times. Perilous times have come upon us. We're in a time that the prophets have spoken and warned us. He said, beware, that's that which the prophets have spoken. Come upon us, Lord, we're in a time right now that your word has spoken to us. God, of what's getting ready to happen. Lord, we're seeing it unfolding. We're seeing it right now before our eyes. Help us, Lord, to know our eyes when I say. Help us to know our eyes when I say. Help us to prick our hearts. Put a conviction in our hearts. Put a cry in our soul, Lord, to return back to you. And not take it lightly. Not let go of one end out the other. God, we in a time, Lord. Serious time. We see how those men, they didn't come to an agreement working on that port. Them coastal cities bringing in the supplies, bringing in all of our shipments, of our goods. Though they had went on strike, couldn't come to a deal, couldn't come to an agreement. Now they folded their hands and went on strike. God, and now we've entered into a recession. Lord, wake your people up. Wake us up. I know America is asleep. America has been lulling by all these pleasures and cares of life. But God, you said a measure of wheat for a penny. Three measures of wheat for a penny. Three measures of barley for a penny. But you said, hurt not the oil and wine. God, only those that sign cry. Only those that call upon you, only those that get in the altars, only those that pray, 
are going to be sealed. Seal your people with the blood. Seal your people by the Holy Ghost. Seal your people. Those that cry out against this evil. Those that cry out against the abomination. Those that cry out against all the uncleanness and the perversion that's done in the land. You said you're going to put a mark on them. Yeah, put a mark on your people. Put a mark on the body of Christ. Lord, put a mark on my home. Put a mark on my wife. Put a mark on my children. You told us to wake our children up. You told us to warn our children, warn our families, warn our loved ones to turn back to you, to repent, to return back to you. Oh, God, we're in a time of evil. We're in a time of trouble. We're in a time where we got to have your help. Help us tonight, oh, God. Yes, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Help us, Lord. A few, a few more moments. Come on. Help us. About two or three more minutes. Just search your hearts. Lord, we search our hearts. Search your hearts. God, help us. Jesus. Humble our spirit. Humble ourselves. Thank you for this kind of word. I know this kind of word has not been spoken today. Lord, but this is the kind of word it's going to take to wake folks up. This is the kind of word it's going to take to cause people to enter into that ought where they can be kept and spared. Jesus, you're going to have a people that's going to be hidden. You're going to have a people that's going to be protected. A people that the shadow of the Almighty is going to cover them. When these things is going to come, a thousand is falling at their side, ten thousand at their right, but it did not touch them. You said these are they that have come through the tribulations, a number that no man could number, that have had their robes washed in the blood of the Lamb. Lord, help us to be among those that have come through all of these things that you're speaking. You told us to pray that we not enter into these things, that we may be counted worthy to escape, to survive. Oh, thank you for this word. Thank you for this word. Sober us up in our spirit our hearts and our minds and wake up all of our children grandchildren Lord to the third and fourth generation awaken us we thank you thank you, thank you, thank you thank you Jesus some kind of word ain't it some kind of word thank you Jesus the word was spoken over there I believe in a Dallas, Texas, before all of this stuff started coming, spoken, trying to uh, prepare. God said, those, only those that's on the foundation, on that rock, Jesus Christ, they're the ones that's going to make it. They're the ones that's going to make it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise God. Praise God. God sent his prophets early. Oh no, when this, this, this word was spoken, y'all may think it was spoken yesterday. This word was spoken back in the 90s, early 90s, around the time when Clinton, the Clintons, was, was, was going strong. And when Janice Reno, Lesbian was a general, was the um, attorney general. That's what this word was spoken. But it was God said, He sent His prophets to warn us and to prepare us, let us know. And Sam, I just have spoken yesterday, but it wasn't. It wasn't. Thank God for this kind of word. Yes. Yes. Thank God for this kind of yes, 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 speaking yes. like this. Yes. I mean, God spoke about this World War III. Mm -hmm. yep. 
It's hard to believe, ain't it? Yeah. But it's, yeah. it's shaking up. Yeah. Millions. Millions. Jesus. Help us. Nuclear destruction. Yes. God. Lord, help us. Yes. It's depressing for me to have to repeat this thing, but you heard him. Amen. God spoke about all these prophets. Yes. Isaiah, Amos, Malachi. Yes. Hosea. Mm -hmm. Joel. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All of them spoke about this powerful word. Yes. And now, like Paul said, that which was spoken by the prophets has come upon us. Yes. Yes. But God has promised to keep us. Yes. He promised to deliver us and our children. Yes. He promised to preserve us in the midst of all of this. That's right. If we keep this word. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I know folks have been waiting to get around to that here for at any moment now. But oh, I tell you, mm -hmm. they've been saying that for 40 years now. In a moment, man. And in a moment, we better pray. That's right. Yes. In a moment, we better put on the whole arm of God. Yes. Yes. And in a moment, we better, he said, watch and be what? Be ready for such an hour you think about. Mm -hmm. The Son of Man come. If the good man of the house would have known, all the, when all this was coming, he would have watched and prayed and got his house in order. That's right. Yep. Right. Lord, I thank you for your word. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this powerful, powerful word. Lord, I thank you. In Jesus' name, I appreciate um, our brother uh, Jefferson over there in Arkansas. Others that hear these kind of prophecies and words and share them. You know, we take a lot of them. We share a lot of them, don't we? Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Stand on your feet. We're going to. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to um, ask you to um, do what you can in the offering. Man, 